Good evening, comrade citizens. Last year, I began my lecture by alluding to the Dhamma Shaka Vipagna Sutta, the Buddha's sutra on the turning of the wheel of the Dharma, where the Buddha first established the doctrine that all mental phenomena, and that is all phenomena really, since all phenomena are perceived by the mind, as suffering or dukkha. These phenomena include our sense of self, our personhood or Atman in Sanskrit, that the Buddha taught was composed of five aggregates or the five skandhas. These aggregates are things that we cling to, believing that they are the things that make up our self or our sense of self. These include form, um, the materiality of our bodies, but also the world around us um, or rupa in Sanskrit. They include sensations or feelings that are informed by these forms, or vedana. Perceptions, or samjna in Sanskrit, that are the products of our sensations. Mental activities, or formations, or sankara, that are composed of our perceptions and have a role to play in informing our actions, or karma. And consciousness, or vijnana, um, the awareness that our minds um, exercise. You see that these concepts, in a way, build upon one another, especially how they relate to mental processes and our awareness of the world around us. In fact, the Buddha used the term contact to refer to how our minds first use consciousness to sense, then perceive, and finally create mental formations. Um, and these mental formations eventually develop into our dispositions. According to early Buddhist philosophy in the Abhidharma tradition, these five aggregates lead us to cling to the world and this notion of personhood. Yet as my heir, the Omar, uh, read at my wedding this past September, examining this mental process where consciousness meets or makes contact with form, leading to higher cognitive processes, examining this entire process destabilizes the notion that we have oneself an essence of who we are. And meditating on how this process works in our minds causes us to stop craving and so stop suffering. In the Buddhist sermon at Rajagraha uh, that the Omar read in September, the Buddha exclaims, calling us to rejoice for your cruel master, that is yourself or your Atma, does not exist. Later Buddhist traditions, such as the Savastavadins and other, other Abhidharma schools, would in, turn, in time develop this analysis of the mind to discover the 12 steps of dependent origination that cause us to continue the cycle of clinging, suffering, rebirth, and redeath. Even later, under the development of the Mahayana, or great vehicle tradition of Buddhism, this dependent origination also leads directly to the awareness that all phenomena including ourselves, are empty. That is, that they have form conventionally, but also that they are ultimately empty, since they rely on other things and have no inherent essence. This is called the perfection of Buddhist wisdom, or pragya parinita. To some Buddhist schools, such as the Yogacharans, awareness both of the conventions of the real social world and awareness of this ultimate reality, um, that all phenomena do not exist, uh, an awareness that Buddha had all at once um, leads directly to Buddhahood and the cessation of suffering. So it is both the awareness of conventions, but also that um, the conventions ultimately do not exist. This knowledge is important for all people, I believe, since that has ramifications for social and political life, especially when it comes to violence and aggression but it's also even important for a micronation such as ours. In our country, we are aware of the fact that we live in a socially and culturally constructed world. And so it is easy for us to see all things as being artificial, even our micronation. For most people who instead see the world only as a natural thing, um, that conventions and other such phenomena are natural, are real, or uh, so have an essence, Seeing this world as ultimately the product of both social and personal construction, I imagine, must come as a shock. It must appear to be incredibly nihilistic and meaningless, but not so to Buddhists. As a Buddhist micronation, such as ours, the fact that the world is constructed is what makes us human. 
It's what conditions who we are and how we go through life, doing so intentionally. The world is not only socially constructed. All phenomena, as the Dhammapada said, um, have mind as their forerunner, their chief. They are, in other words, mind made, a term we also use in our micronation um, to refer to this, the fact that the state of sameness is a country made by our minds and by our hands. This is why our country's philosophy in many ways lists Buddhism as the first part of our philosophy, since it is about approaching the world with new eyes, the eyes of the Buddha, our truest nature, if we're serious about ending suffering. I want to turn now from the conventional philosophical introduction of my lecture to what exactly our minds and our hands have made in the last year. In the years since we met, we continue to develop the political structure and constitution of our migration, while also building on social developments since the beginning of the pandemic. In December 2020, we held our first regular census that will happen now every five years. In January, I passed a decree that legitimized the cabinet that has an effect come to exist in Sandus over the last two years. This cabinet includes the three grand officers of state, the SOGMO, the party secretary, and the speaker, plus junior officers of state. That includes ministers, the heir, leaders of cooperatives and economic organs, and so on, as well as so-called adjuncts or formal holders of these positions. In February, I gave the Collegium Sacerdotum its new charter. The college is the first organ to have received a new charter uh, ever, and the new charter comes exactly, or more or less, 10 years uh, since the college's establishment in 2011. In March, the council held its first election for its first speaker um, since its democratic reforms uh, during the new spring equinox uh, election that will be held annually on the 20th. In April, Sandus celebrated the 10th anniversary of the foundation of the state of Sandus and marked the day of nobility with a new decree that established the principle of hospitality as the cornerstone of our Sandus nobility. In June, we celebrated the 10th Jubilee, the celebration of my 10 years on the throne. In July, after months of consideration, the council passed a new um, constitutive document called the Rules and Procedures of the Council that now governs how the council runs. At the end of July, Sandus and Uberstadt ratified the Second Common Economy Treaty, the biggest reform of our uh, cooperative economics in Sandus since 2015. In August, the Collegium Sacerdotum held its first convocation under the new, um, the new charter, while in September, the son of Oconyoks and I celebrated our wedding. In October, we celebrated the Amalustrium and began to incorporate the college's new cult of Athena into the celebration of important salmon cultural holidays that touch on the abstract personhood of our micronation, our matron, Athena. And today we've just now celebrated uh, the second such um, holiday uh, that the cult has now taken over and pioneered. Finally, in November, um, just last month, <laughs> the Citizens Party of Sandus met and held its annual Congress, re-electing Adam Camillus von Freideck and encouraging the development of its own organization and membership. There are many themes that the events of the last year give rise to, I think, but one seems especially pertinent in my mind. The COVID-19 pandemic, which is still very much even perniciously with us, uh, has led to a certain renaissance of our migration. This renaissance is a political um, since it has uh, led us to reimagine our institutions and three branches of our republic, but it is also a social and cultural renaissance. It has brought us together in ways that are now more common, more frequent, and also binding. These changes over the last year will have uh, sorry, these changes over the last year will have ramifications for us in the future, since they will change Sanum society and culture even more. I now want to focus on the specific goals that the Central People's Government will focus on in the new administrative year 2022, especially in order to continue and advance this renaissance. The first two months of the new year mark the end of the year of realism, 
a year-long celebration from last February to next February that celebrates Sanum realism as one of our guiding political theories of our migration. In February, I will host a symposium or workshop that brings together micronationalists with micropatriological research and intellectual interests. I have to make this symposium, as well as other such symposia, more of a, a common feature of life in Sandus, since we are a micronation full of intellectuals and knowledge-minded people. In February, for example, we will have this annual symposium to celebrate Realism Day on the 13th of February. Near the 16th of June, we will have a similar event for Libera Day. Um, and near the 9th of March, we will hold another event for Philia Day. With these events, I hope that Sanders will not only share um, the major political theories that guide our micronation, but will also continue to produce a body of knowledge that remains a defining characteristic of our micronation, something that has defined us in the past and will continue to define us and bring us together. In the new administrative year, the Central People's Government will continue to further this political renaissance that characterized much of this previous year. I will continue to work with the Speaker of the Council and develop the nature of her office as she sees fit in order that the Council continues to develop its own nature and identity as a democratic branch of government. I will also work with and in uh, the party as one of its most fervent members. In the new year, it will become paramount that I work with the party's secretary to develop the party's constitution, um, but also that we begin a new relationship between the Sogamo and the party, a relationship that respects our different offices and powers, but that works together, uh, to, pardon me, but works together for the betterment of the party and the state of Sandus. This year is the aspiration that we seek a new sagamorial role in the party, one where the Sokomo takes a more proactive role in planning, and I shall work with, Comrade, with the Comrade Party Secretary to create a register of party members, to foster activity among members, to encourage active citizens to join the party, and to promote the party's programs set out at last month's Congress. My government will also work directly with our ministers leaders of cooperatives and other heads of other state organs to reinvigorate our government and economy, especially now that we have a new path forward with the common economy. We have ample work here to do, um, but I will focus on clarifying the role of our ministries, bureau, and other organs in Sandus. What do our ministries do? And how do citizens engage and interact with them? What does a realist government look like with ministers charged with broad portfolios like diplomatic affairs and human and environmental health to such ministries in Sandus. Um, and what does this realist government do? This will perhaps be the theme of February's symposium. I will also prepare a new edition of the Sagamorial Constitution Project uh, that was first released in 2019 to share information with San citizens about the Sandin Constitution. Um, but this project now requires both an update and some expansion. The project's discussion of the economy now deserves an entirely new treatment, um, and the project can now focus on major constitutional principles in Sandus rather than just schematics. As a country without a basic law, with no written constitution, I believe our unwritten constitution is one of the defining and cohesion-making characteristics of our country since all political considerations are also constitutional considerations for us. I also hope to explore new media techniques for this project, including the creation um, of an up-to-date textbook, um, perhaps through some nifty formats, um, and possibly other videos and podcasts. Finally, in the new year, I will encourage um, the long-awaited theoretical development of aspects of our government, um, our, our country deserves to plan for a system of litigation, and we ought to reconsider and redesign our system of provinces. These ideas will require the same amount of planning that in the past led to the development of the council and our economic system, but planning these can bring both stability to our micronation and encourage activity on, a cohesive, uh, uh, on cohesive local levels. 
Enough about the Central People's Government. My government will also work with our partners in Uberstadt to continue hard-won progress um, that we have made in the common economy and the social system in the last year. Today, as I see it, the defining principle of the common economy is communitarianism. Now that our two countries' um, pr productive organs are focused on creating workers' communities, not workers' production. Cooperatives are the most deserving of our focus, and in the new year, my government will work with the Commission for the Common Economy, uh, the CCE, to continue regularizing the economy with more information keeping. Individual organs are especially deserving of our intention, um, and many of these need to develop their own systems of governance from the ground up. My government will see to it that, for example, Telus Horticultural Cooperative um, incorporates new uh, gardens um, and holds its first election for director. The Central People's Government will work with the CCE to launch Ergani Artisanal Cooperative and make a basic law for the cooperative like TELUS has. We will work with the Kingdom of Uberstadt to fully incorporate um, the Occidental Chronicle into the state of Sandus as much as we can, abiding by the principles set out uh, in the Second Common Economy Treaty, uh, and formulate policies that encourage equal privileging of the Chronicle and the state media enterprise, a standing only um, state enterprise, while respecting the status of both in regard to their independence. The Sports Club Federation, um, likewise, also needs leadership and a basic law, though these considerations may be too late for the cooperative's real, uh, first real test. Next month, we will hold the biannual Ludi Picales, and planning has not yet begun. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I'd like to appeal to you that if you have thoughts about how we should hold the Ludi these years and uh, this year and what games we should play, please let me know. Your help and work will always be constitute uh, will also be constitutive of how the cooperative may come to work in the future, uh, and also it is help that I desperately need. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, the Collegium Sacerdotum will continue to grow and develop by formulating white papers for each sodality. Already, Sangha Sandus um, has been an active participant in the life of the college since this past August. And I will continue to do my part to ensure that all um, of the college's sodalities will continue to meet and hold programs for, at the very least, their religious holidays. I will ask members of the sodalities to hold meetings to discuss how they hope that their sodality will work, um, what work the sodality can sponsor or put together, and what holidays and traditions are part of the sodality's charge, specifically in terms of um, culture or religion. Um, much like the present Cult of Athena has done, um, though I still need to publish its own white paper. <laughs> um, it is mostly completed. <laughs> Beyond the common economy, our Renaissance is already, and I'm almost done. Um, Beyond the common economy, our Renaissance has already turned its attention to sand and culture, as today's festivities show. Even still, my, my government will continue de to decentralize our state's cultural activities, encouraging other state organs, from branches of government to economic organs like cooperatives and state enterprises, to develop their own traditions and holidays. For example, in the new year, I hope to encourage the party to formulate its own register of holidays uh, and take over their planning, designing, and organizing. The same is true of other organs, such as Gargani and Telus. Telus could certainly hold celebrations for preparing for the growing season, the sowing of seeds, and llamas when we celebrate the beginning of the harvest. While Ergani could have a role to play in Athena's Day, the Minervalia, and other events to encourage arts and crafts in our country. More branches of government and more state organs can continue to apply the lessons we have learned from these past 10 plus years of developing our own sin culture by our hands and by our minds. Even before the new year, I intend to announce the creation of the long-awaited State Sancta Committee, adding a new category of state organ that can exist in our Constitution. In terms of the, the Central People's Government, already do we have ministries and bureau, both organs that focus on and perform particular fields of activity, 
State committees, however, can in the future operate between agencies and be a place of participation for officials, experts, workers, and the public at large. The State Sancta Committee, our first state committee, will bring together leaders of cooperatives and state organs, the grand state officers, and citizens at large who have an interest in culture making and, uh, to consider questions of cultural importance from big to small concerns. Finally, this month, I will release my long-awaited decree on adjacency, creating a new legal status for individuals who are uh, very much part of our country's fabric, but who are not, um, and perhaps do not desire to be, citizens. This was an objective of this current year um, and last year's Blue Lecture, um, and I hope to complete this decree um, in the next month. All of these goals touch on life in Sandus, but aim to continue to make Sandus a unique and thriving social territory where all of our citizens are included and belong. This is the work that we set out to do in the new year, and it is with fervent duty to our state and to the Sandus people that I will now respond to your questions and comments on Discord. Oh, would that be in, in here? <laughs> there you go. Uh, Do you see the? the it's the, yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, wait, is it? Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs>